it makes some sense here. When you would like to cross a river or maybe the road, what happens if you are on the left side of the road and you cross to the other end of the road? You see that your left arm becomes your right arm on the other side. So when you cross it, that's how it looks like. Just like the river, you are here and you move, you are here at this point, say P, and you move to Q. You cross it to kill your right and left now becomes left and right. You get it. So, according to what we've studied, we know that this one is what positive. It's positive. It's just that's not indicated. So, if it crosses to this side, but we need to find a solution to that. To cross to this side, when it crosses. It, it is right here, but as when you cross the road, your right, let me draw it properly, so you get to know, let's say this is the road, and this is your right and your left. When you cross it, it becomes left and right. So if you are right here and you cross it, you become left, which is negative, and V squared. So this is practical reasoning. And we can rewrite this, no change actually. We are just reassembling it. Nothing has changed, it's just the same thing. And we need B. This spec is different from this spec. And they want us to find B, not B square. So we use square roots to do that. And we're going to get um, B is equal to the square root of um, pi squared minus that of um, three squared. So this is what happens. And we're going to get B is equal to the square root of 25 minus nine. Yeah. Shall get there, don't worry. So B will be a uh, square root of 16. And 16 is a perfect square. It's a perfect square of um, 4 by 4. 4 by 4 vehicle. So it becomes 4 squared, actually. And we've already explained that the square root represents half. 